this video, we will be talking about the different types of cells, including labile cells, stable cells, which are also called quiescent cells, as well as permanent cells. Before we begin, I want to let you know that for this video, you will need a basic understanding of the cell cycle in order for this to make sense, because I won't be explaining the cell cycle in detail in this video. As shown in this diagram here, we can see that there are labile cells, stable cells, and permanent cells. So we're going to first talk about permanent cells. Now let's take a look at permanent cells here, which are labeled right there. For example, a neuron is a permanent cell. So permanent cells remain in the G0 phase and regenerate from stem cells. In other words, these cells are incapable of regeneration on their own, and they are considered terminally differentiated. Examples of permanent cells include neurons, as shown over here, as well as skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, as well as red blood cells. And as a brief reminder, the G0 phase is a resting phase in which the cell is neither dividing nor preparing to divide. And pretty much, it's essentially a stage that is considered outside of the cell cycle, hence why it's over here in G0. However, it's important to note that these permanent cells are still performing its job. For example, neurons will still conduct signals and muscle cells will still contract. The most important thing to remember about permanent cells is that they are not able to regenerate on their own and they can regenerate from stem cells. This makes sense because as we know, red blood cells live for about 120 days or so and you need to be able to make more to live. Therefore, your body is able to do that by using stem cells and the bone marrow to make more red blood cells. Now, let's go on to the other spectrum and talk about labile cells. So, as you can see here, labile cells are listed here. These cells never go into G0, and they are rapidly dividing with a short G1 phase. These cells include your bone marrow, the cells lining your gut, skin cells, hair follicles, as well as germ cells. Something that's really interesting is that these cells are the ones that are most affected by chemotherapy. So this is why people who are undergoing chemo lose their hair and have GI issues. Label cells are only alive for a short period of time. Due to this, they can end up reproducing new stem cells and replace functional cells. The way that these cells regenerate and replace themselves is really interesting. So while going through the cell division, one of the two daughter cells actually becomes a new stem cell. This occurs so that the daughter cell can end up restoring the population of stem cells that were lost. That's pretty much it for labile cells. So remember, they're rapidly dividing and never go into G0 with a very short G1 phase. Lastly, let's talk about stable or quiescent cells. These cells are kind of in the middle. They like to hang out in the G0 phase, similar to a permanent cell, but they can enter G1 and divide if stimulated, kind of like a labile cell. I like to think of these cells as in the middle, and some examples of these cells are hepatocytes, so liver cells, lymphocytes, and cells in the proximal convoluted tubule of the kidney. Now, let's sum up the important facts of this video. Permanent cells cannot regenerate, and they remain in G0 of the cell cycle. Labile cells never go into G0 and divide rapidly with a short G1. Finally, stable cells are in the middle and are usually in G0 but can enter G1 and divide if needed. So thank you for watching this video and if you got this far, please give this video a like. Comment below with questions or if you want us to make a video on a different topic. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a future video.